Right now, I'm going to show you how to easily change the color of anything in Photoshop, including black and white. So I'm going to start with a simple example, and we're going to change the color of her dress here. And we're going to do this without making any selections. And then we're going to go on and look at working with things like black and white. So let's just go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. So if we click on the adjustment layers here, we're going to go down to hue saturation. Okay, so this is split into three parts, hue, saturation, and lightness. Hue is the color. Saturation, this is how much of the color. And lightness is how light or dark we make it. Now, if you want to lighten or darken an image, don't use lightness, use levels or curves. This works specifically in hue. Same thing with saturation. Go in vibrance. Don't use the saturation. Just add saturation. When you go into hue saturation, you should be doing this with the intention of working with the hue or the color or changing the color. All right, so let's see how this works. If I wanted to change this dress to a different color, if I move the hue, notice now it changes the color. Now, of course, it changes the color of everything on the image. So let's just reset that. So what I want to do is I want to adjust it, but I want it to just isolate the areas of red. So we can go in here. You'll see the master and there's different colors. You could choose reds. But an easier way is just to grab this little icon. And then we're going to go to an area of red and then click to sample that red. Notice when we do that. Now you see these little um, teeth in here. I like to call them teeth. And what it's doing is it's clamping down on this area of red. So now when I make the changes, notice now that the color is changing right there on the red. Now notice it's gone a little bit over because this red in the skin tone. So that's also being adjusted. We can refine this. If we go in here and we decide, hey, I want to go a little less into the yellows, just drag it to the left. Notice it rolls off those other colors, such as the skin tone, and now they're not being affected. So you can fine tune it in there. Now notice it changed the color of her dress. It also changed the color of her lipstick because the lipstick was red as well. Now, if you want to remove it from that one area, you just paint with black on that layer mask. So let's make sure we've got black as our foreground, paint over the lipstick, and now the lips go back to red. All right, let's look at something a bit more difficult when we're working with whites and blacks. Before we jump into this, um, do me a favor and hit that like button as the thumbs up. Uh, it just kind of helps us with the algorithm. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and you'll get a new tutorial from me every week. All right, let's move on. So let's go in and do the same thing with the hue saturation. So we're going to apply this hue saturation adjustment. Now, if we slide this, notice we can change the colors. But notice what's happening when we're doing this hue. It's not changing the whites. In fact, even if we hit colorize and we change the hue, notice that the white is not being affected. Okay, let me turn the saturation up a little bit more. And notice what's happening. There's no change with the white. This is what the lightness slider exists for in here. This is not for lightening or darkening images because it actually does a very poor job of that. But what it does do is if we darken it, notice now, now it's no longer white. Now it has color, which means that you got it. Now we can go in and we can change the hue of that and it responds to the hue and the saturation because we darkened it. Let's hit it back to zero. Notice it's zero. It's not going to affect it because there is no color in there. There's no tone for it to work with. But by darkening it, we're allowing it to do that. Same thing with grays. We can colorize grays, no problem at all, and just play around with lightness to fix them. Okay, so what about black? All right, so I'm just going to hit Control-I to invert this. And now we've got black so there's our original color here let's just create a brand new hue saturation just so we, you can see there's no monkey business going on grab the adjustment layer 
hue saturation. Now watch what happens. We move the hue. The colors are changing, right? But the black is not changing, even if we hit colorize. Okay, so here's the opposite. When we go to lightness, it's pure black. There's no color. It can't change it. But if we lighten it up a little bit, let's hit that colorize again. Lighten it up. Now, look at that. It can put color in there. And now we can change the color. So once again, if you're working here and it's black, just lighten it up a little bit and choose how dense you want that color, by the way. If it's white, darken it a little bit, change that density, and then you can go in and you can change the colors. So say, for example, we're working on something like a white shirt here. Let's make a selection. We'll just use our object selection tool here. Won't be perfect, but it'll be good enough for you guys to see. Okay, so we've got white. Let's go into our hue saturation. Notice I changed the hue. Not much is happening. So there's a little bit of light getting in there. Let's hit colorize. It's slightly adjusting, but let's take it down. We're going to darken it a little bit. Boom. Look at that. Now we can put the color in there. And we can change this to any color we want. Less saturated, make it more gray. Or, you know, we can increase that saturation. And now if we want to change the pinstripe, remember the little trick? You're just going to create a new hue saturation adjustment. Grab this little finger Click on the purples, and now we can change the color of that to match. And if you did get a little bit of that jacket in there, of course, we can always just go back. All right, so let me know in the comments underneath if this helps solve some of the problems you've had when it comes to changing colors inside of Photoshop. And if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and then you'll get a new tutorial from me every Tuesday. Also join us at 1 p.m. Pacific time every Thursday for our live stream. So anyway, guys, if you like it, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.